June 5th, 1982, Ronaldo Joseph Jr. Padua was born. So today, I wanna to talk to you about my reflections of being 40. So today, I turned 41. Now, I wanna look back at being 40 because people have told me all my life, wait until you get to be 30, you're gonna feel this. Wait until you get to be 40, this is what's gonna happen. And I'm yet to see any of that stuff. So today I wanna to talk to you about the things that I've learned from being 40 that might help you even if you're turning 50 or maybe you're turning 30 or maybe you're turning 60 or maybe you're turning 70. Is that number one, you only get old if you let yourself get old physically. I choose to push myself at a higher level, okay? I continue to compete with those that are younger than me in better shape than me and I continue to push myself to maintain that level. But here's the thing. As you get older, you start to learn better recovery habits. When I was in my 30s, you know, you got the bar, staying up late, right? You're lacking sleep, probably not drinking enough water. But now that I'm 40, I'm learning that in order for me to maintain this level of physicality and continue to push myself like I was 20 and 30, I now have to be smarter. Number two is that you need to build good habits with your end goal in mind and be consistent. I have a checklist that I've been slightly evolving ever since like four or five years ago. And there's things on this checklist that have been the same four or five years ago as they are today. And these are all small habits that I continuously grow from. So for instance, every morning, I always wanted to challenge myself to learn something new. I need to open up my brain. So instead of opening up social media, what do I do is I go into the internet and I find a topic that I need to research both through business, but also through fitness. And so that's a habit that I've grown and I've been continuously doing every single day for the past four or five years. And look at, you're here watching this video, Look at the gym, we're doing really well. Look at my physicality, it's still there. And so the habit, even though it seems very long, very tedious, and there's days that I don't wanna do it, but by continuously and being consistent with this habit of expanding my knowledge base, it's helped me grow personally, mentally, physically, and financially. So number two is that you need to build up these good habits, be consistent, and see the end goal in mind. Number three is that you actually decide how you want to spend your time. Do you wanna do more work? Do you wanna spend more time with your family? Or do you wanna play more? You might think that you're locked into that job. You might think that because you have this giant house and a fancy car, that you have to continue to do the things that you hate. But I think that COVID has taught us a lot that our time is more precious than that dollar. And I've seen people through the course of COVID really hit rock bottom. And honestly, for you, you don't need to be worried because I've seen where they go rock bottom and they're still okay. So whatever you're so worried about, whatever you think that you have to have to do that you hate doing every single day, you don't have to do that. So you should be focusing on the time that you wanna be spent with the people that you wanna spend it with because time is precious and life is truly short. So make sure that you're deciding on how you want to spend your time. Now this is cliche and you've probably heard this everywhere. It's about creating balance and I honestly 100% believe in it. Okay. Whenever I push myself physically within the next two days, I'm going to find a way to bring my heart rate down, let my body rest, give you a perfect example. Let's say I played tennis, I coached, did a fit club workout and I went for a walk with my kids. So that day resulted in a 20 to 25,000 step and I burnt like three to 4,000 calories. Within the next two days, I'm gonna pick a day where I get only like 5,000 steps where I only burn like 1,500 calories because life is all about balance. You can't always go, 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 work, 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 lift, lift, lift. You have to find a way to create that balance. Now there's moments through the period of a, a year where you're actually going to push yourself both physically or financially if you're in business. And so you have to see that as you're in season. Think about basketball players or hockey players or football players. They have a time period of where they go hard, they play hard, their body's banged up, they're tired, they wanna stop. But then once they hit that end goal, once the season's done, they give themselves times to reflect, to recharge, 
and then they slowly ramp up to get themselves prepared for that in season. So life truly is about balance. You have to be able to set that intention with your life to be able to create that balance. And the last one, to truly be the best version of you, you need to surround yourself with like-minded people. I personally spent my 20s and 30s trying to please people, trying to be the person that I thought they wanted me to be in order to help them grow, in order to help me grow. But I've learned that there's certain individuals that I need to surround myself with. I have a certain personality that I'm continuously evolving and I'm not saying that it's perfect, but I need people to be able to stack the blocks alongside of me. Toxicity, negativity, no growth, those aren't things for me. And so when I'm thinking about growth and I'm thinking about helping you and helping myself into the 40s, is that I wanna make sure that the people around me make, give me the heart flutters. They make me feel good. They bring me up and they help me to bring myself up and I bring them up and we're always constantly, like there's not enough that I can give to that type of person that you're just like, I don't even know who's ahead here. There is no like I owe you or you owe me. It's just like, you know what? We just give so much that in the end, we've grew so much together. So the final one is that to be the best version of yourself, you truly have to surround yourself with like-minded individuals. So there we have it guys, 41 years today, baby. June 5th, 1982. Those are my reflections on being 40.